You're still watching the AM show. Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. Uh, it's a holiday, but we have to do this for God and country. Now, we know that yesterday governments launched the performance tracker in what they say ensures transparency and accountability in governance. They say as of June 2023, over 13,000 projects across the 261 districts, across the 16 regions and across the 28 ministries have been validated and updated on this platform. Join News have been interrogating some of the highlights and we've isolated the Agenda 111. So stay with me, let me take you through some of our findings. Now in 2021, President Akufado, when he launched this Agenda 111 initiative, he said that um, building, one building, hospitals, will cost $12.8 million. Equipping the buildings in it so that they can function well will cost $4.8 million which brings us to a total of $1.95 billion. But one hospital was supposed to cost about $17.6 million. Um, dollars. But follow me, let's, let's get through this, um, this thing. So now in 2022, on the back of his promises, 518 million Ghana cities was allocated in the budget for this agenda 111. In 2023, 206 million Ghana cities was allocated. And the highest, which was seen this year, 2024, 687 million Ghana cities have been allocated to Agenda 111, which brings us to a total of 1.4 billion Ghana cities. But we know that we actually need more than this. We need about $2 billion. And so if you convert this figure into dollars, it's nowhere near the actual figure that we even need to execute this Agenda 111 project. Now, going forward, based on our checks, it turns out that, uh, no, this is actually from the performance tracker. They are saying that on the performance tracker, the projects that have been uploaded on the tracker so, uh, so far are 109 projects. Out of that, 88 of them are under constructed or under construction. Um, 21 of these projects are not under construction. And Two of these projects have not been included at all on this performance tracker app. Now, the rate of completion of the total project, based on our checks, is 36.29%. Out of all the projects that they have listed on the performance tracker app, they strike an average of, no, we stroke an average, but they have indicated individually on the percentage of completion for each of the projects. But our check revealed that if you, if you strike an average, Agenda 111, as it stands, is just 36.29% completed. Let's go to the next slide now. Now, um, on the performance tracker, they say that 44.94% 44 of projects have been completed. Next tracker. Next slide, please. So we're doing our checks still. We go to the various regions to see how these projects are being completed or the status of these buildings, these projects, these um, yeah, projects so far. In Greater Accra region, out of the 17 projects that are listed under Agenda 111, only 12% have been completed. And you know, they cited lack of lands and so many other things as the reason why we have only 17 of these projects here in Accra. In Ashanti region, 18 of these projects were listed under Agenda 111, and it's only 60% rate of completion. In the central region, we have seven of these projects, and it's at 55.9% completion rate. In the Volta region, we have eight projects listed under Agenda 111, and they're at 47.1% completion. In the northern region, nine projects, 39.9% completion. In the eastern region, eight projects, 48.02% completion. And this data is coming from the performance tracker um, that was launched yesterday. That's, that's said for um, the Agenda 111. So we are just basically trying to assess what government is saying or portraying on this performance tracker as against the real situation on the ground. But this is only for Agenda 111. My colleague Kodonyako has been also doing his own investigation on one district, one factory, one D1F, as it's popularly known. And he's joining me now on phone to give us more insights into what he's finding. Oh, he's on Zoom instead. So, Kojen Yaku, thank you for joining us. What have your checks revealed so far on one district, one factory? I 
I think Kojo froze. Uh, we're trying to resolve that, but he'll, he'll come back and give us his insights or what he found when he did his checks on one district, one factory. But Nana Kojo Yadom is also joining me on phone. Nana Kojo, you are in Kumasi and you've been doing some checks as well. What did you find? Well, sweetie, we've done our independent checks in the Ashanti region. When you come to the Ashanti region for Agenda 111, there are 18 projects um, under this, this project by government. Well, under it, it started with the Shredder, um Government Hospital, which is under the Agenda 111 initiative. And also, we have that one at Bantama and then Asokori Mampo Municipality. Well, our checks for Agenda 111, Shredder is about 70% complete or more. And also for Asakori Mampong, it is 0%. It's completion rate. You could, when we did our checks, we realized that uh, nobody is even on site. Um, work should be starting or should be ongoing, but nothing is actually ongoing when you visit the site at Asakori Mampong, unlike Threadek, where we have um, contractors on site and work is still ongoing. And so work is progressing, progressing as, as time goes and when it goes to when we visited Threadek under the Agenda 111 um, initiative. Uh, when, we, when we went to Bantama, we realized that work is not ongoing. Initially, there were some land issues, um, the presidential advice on health, Dr. Nsiyan Sari, and then the then former Minister for Information, Kojo Opong Kroma, came to the Ashanti region last year to deal with every matter with regards to land, the land issues um, when, they, when we went to the Bantama constituency or the district to, to check upon the progress of work when it, what we regard one initiative and it was resolved last year and also work went on but as we speak we do not really know uh, the progress of work when we visited the, the Bantama district with regards to the agenda one one initiative but for Treadday we can confirm that work is still ongoing and also for Sakori Mampom there's nothing ongoing Bantama too there's nothing really ongoing we did our checks on uh, one district one factory as well We've mm. done our independent check prior to the release or to the launch, launching of the uh, um, performance tracker. We did our checks on the Agogo Plantain Processing Factory and also the Jankobadi. For Agogo, we've done our checks twice. Last year, we did our check. And then this year, just last month, we did a check on the Agogo Plantain Processing Factory. Well, when we went to Agogo, for instance, we could see that work is still ongoing. And there are no machines inside the, the structure or the building. Roofs are even peeling off, um, dilapidated roofs. But then when you go through the performance structure, you realize that it is stated 100% um, complete, uh, which, is, which is contrary to our independent checks. Because when we visited the site, we realized that the roads that lead to the factory is even um, uh, deteriorated. And so we cannot even say that per our independent checks and um, that particular project is 100% complete. We spoke to the municipal chief executive officer about it. He indicated to us that funding has become the problem for the um, one district one factory when, you, when we visited the Agogo plant and processing factory. Mm -hmm. They need money to complete the project. And then if they get money anytime soon, it is not going to take much for them to complete that particular project. We also did our checks on Jankoba Ginger factory. Last year, um, under um, the One District, One Factory um, initiative, we wanted to explore and then look at um, some of the major works that government, government ha has been doing with regards to these projects, um, the, the documentary by my, my colleague Richard Kodunyakum. We did visit some of these sites. We realized that Jankuba, for instance, the structure is there. Work is still ongoing. Nothing completed. In fact, we cannot say it is 100% complete because there are no machines inside the infrastructure or inside the building. It was even covered by weeds. And so it is not 100% complete as to our checks last year. Just yesterday, after the launch of the performance tracker, we did our independent checks as well. And then we can clearly say or confirm that it is still not 100% complete. But our checks on the performance, performance tracker indicates that it is 100% complete. So comparing what we have on the performance tracker and then our independent checks, you could see that they do not align in any way because our checks says otherwise. So out of all the places you visited, any of these projects actually completed? None of them have been completed. Right. None of them have been completed. Two checks on one district, one factory, 
and then five checks on um, agenda 111. All of those that we visited yesterday or we did our checks on today, we can clearly say or confirm that none of them is completed. Well, thank you so much. But hold for me. Richard Kojunyaku is also joining us on Zoom right now. And he's also doing, he did some checks on the back of the documentary from 2021 on One District, One Factory. Kojunyaku, thanks for joining us. What have your checks revealed so far? So, uh, um, Siti, you remember that in 2023, uh, around February, uh, we put uh, a hotline documentary together titled One District, Some Factory. Um, I think you know, if you can hear me, we lost the first bit of your submission. Some... I think Kojonya is having some challenges with his network. We'll go back to him later. But um we have on the phone joining me now is Monday. So Mustafa Gbande joins me on phone now. Mustafa, thanks for joining us. Have you been following the activities of uh, the government, New Patriotic Party and the launch of this performance tracker and our checks <clears> so far? <throat> what are your views? Uh, thank you very much. I have been following, but I got somehow very disinterested in it because it's full of jokes and it just demonstrates a lack of preparedness to be responsible in government. And again, it also demonstrates the fact that the government does not even know what the plight of the people are. The government is in a state of paralysis where it does not hear the cry of Ghanaians. So Ghanaians have sunk so low into a hole that only the president, his vice, and his appointees are sitting up and they cannot hear the voice of the ordinary Ghanaians. So that one, I will leave it for <coughs> my brother Sami JP. Who is, who is an expert in economic policy analysis and also the communication director who respond, who respond and respond to it well. Just this morning, even your own analysis have shown that the whole tracker system makes nonsense of the people who have sat down to do it. And so we'll not go there. But the question is that for a government to go and sit down and assemble a lie to the people of Ghana, when we are complaining of hunger, when we are complaining of food, bread and butter issues, it's an insult. It just demonstrates that President Akufado and his wife and his entire appointees do not take Ghanaians serious. Today, as we speak, you owe national service allowance. And when Ghanaians are complaining, you are launching performance tracker. Is it, going, is it supposed to be an economic recovery strategy? Or is it supposed to be a, a job substitute, a job provision uh, 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 tracker. I mean, will they add the dams to the tracker? The dams that they have chopped the money that they didn't construct, will they add it to the tracker? The, the project that we did in Ashanti region, yesterday I was asking the Ashanti regional minister, are you not ashamed mentioning court complex as an achievement of central government? Because the judiciary is an independent entity that has its own budget. And so will you be mentioning a court complex in the government's stronghold as an achievement so that we should clap for you, you have done well. When we have deficit in road infrastructure, when we have deficit in our educational infrastructure, in terms of health, it is worse. When the national health insurance policy is not working, what are they tracking? It mm. just shows people who are not serious to governor. And nothing more. It right. just validates the fact that Dr. Maomia has not ceased to be a liar. He has not ceased to want to change from being dishonest. Musafa, he has not ceased from the fact that Mustafa yeah. Bande, thank you so much. Hold for me, though. We have Haruna Mohammed on the line, who's the Deputy uh, General Secretary for the NPP. Haruna Mohammed, um, I'm sure you heard from Mustafa Bande, but we also did our own checks, and it turns out that some of the projects listed as completed on this Performance Tracker app uh, or website are not actually completed. My colleague was just talking about that from Kumasi. How do you respond to these issues coming up on the back of this Performance Tracker uh, that you launched yesterday? much. Um, I first of all will say good morning to your cherished, I will say good morning to your cherished uh, viewers out there. Uh, I think it's very unfortunate that uh, when you are given an opportunity to speak to facts, uh, you try to go on a tangent to make commentary and laughable comments about <clears throat> matters you absolutely have no uh, control over. 
Um, yes, the Potomac Charter was launched yesterday. And um, you are telling me that your station has been able to do an evaluation of all the projects. Well, not all, but some of them that have been listed as them. completed, so, like so the Agogo these, factory in these Kumasi. These are matters that is left right. with government communication to mm. verify with you. And that is why we have given you access to what we call the right to information bill. You would be able to make an informed decision based on your verification of some of these projects that you have uh, personally, just within a space of less than 24 hours, uh, that are very closer to you. Have you made an effort to go to the other region far away to check and see if they tell you that the hospital in Miao constituency or Miao district has reached 50 or 70 percent completion? Have you been able to get to that place within the space of 24 hours? If they tell you that the Pandai Hospital or the Willisho Hospital has reached this particular percentage, okay. have you been able to make a I, verification I understand, of that? I understand so what you're saying. I believe, but we're I believe speaking... that. You know, the media, is, the media is the space that we all cherish, and you will be able to go and make an informed uh, uh, verification of this matter. We are all in this country. When this incompetent NDC party as a government came out to tell us that the Eastern Corridor Road was completed, not to withstand the fact that their own road minister went to launch NDC campaign in Bimbila. His cars were stuck in gutters on the road back to Tamale. We're in this country when they produce a certain incompetent and ineptitude book we call the Green Book that came, that insulted the mindset of the people of Ghana when John Mahama could not offer any alternative, had to insult the intelligence of the people of Ghana to say we have short memory. Please, let us respect and accord the respect to the people of Ghana. I am telling you on fact that this delivery tracker is something that is going to bring accountability closer to the people of Ghana. And that is what we have to applaud the MTP for. It has given you the room to criticize okay. and verify ha ha whether these projects are Haruna well Mohammed, I understand, I understand your trail of thoughts, but we are speaking specifically to one district, one factory. There are some projects on the website that have been listed as completed. And we have not gone to all the regions, but we went and to Kumasi because we have a correspondent to Kumasi who did the checks. And it turns out that it's not completed. How do you respond to this particular issue? I, am not say, every... I, I cannot because I have not gone there as you have alleged to have gone. And I'm telling you on fact that the delivery tracker was launched yesterday. And once you have made this particular uh, consent, government, government is going to uh, respond and make an informed decision on what they say. I am not very familiar with that country, and I cannot pinpoint a very specific one, this one fact that you are talking about. And you are also very uh, 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 concerned about the truth and the actual facts that are seen on the delivery track. You know that there is, there is terms in fact, all the areas that I have mentioned in terms of the completion of this particular, you know. Let's go for the positives too. Let the people of Ghana know that these are the positives. They are true. They come from that particular project. Let's not always focus on negatives to ensure that this is what we do. Media is supposed to expose and media is supposed to inform. When you are informing, you inform positive, you inform negative. And that is what we have to do. And I don't blame you because you are doing your work. But I'm pointing to my brother on the other side of the divide to tell him that you come from Kuyoli. It is barely very few moments that you go to Tatale to even visit to see the kind of development projects that goes there. It is the MPP that provided the people of Kuyoli and Benatabe and the people of Tatale hospitals. And that's what he has to know. I have come from that particular area. I have worked in that district when it was combined. I have worked specifically in the greater part of the northern sector. And I can verify and tell you that the projects on the delivery tracker actually points to what Akufuado government and Dr. Baumia has done. All go right, I check. hear you, whether I hear the, you. But you have to hold for whether, me. Whether the zip line, the, 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 the drones have actually provided the various necessities that we have provided. And that is what we have to point to. Not because if you are desperate to come to government, you try as much as possible to disrespect the mindset and, and the thinking of the people of Ghana. We're not going to do that. And we are going to be very much concerned Okay, thank you, Haruna Mohammed. But um, Mustafa Gwande is still on the line with me. Mustafa, you've heard his response to some of our, the results of our checks. How, how, what, what's on your mind right now? You, you know, Mohammed is my brother. We come from the same constituency. Mm. He yeah. hasn't tracked his own tracker. And the MPP tracker, by the grace of God, only works in our constituency. They are asking you specifically in Asante region, where you have mentioned projects in your tracker that they are completed. 
And on the contrary, those projects are not completed. You said they are insulting your government. You are mentioning Green Book. The Green Book was, if supposing this was a lie, it was the reason why Ghanaians voted us out of power. So now that they are doing what is worse than the Green Book, are they ready to go out of power? This is simple common sense. You, you have lied to the people of this country. You continue to lie to the people of this country. You are not demonstrating commitment and preparedness to govern the country. When Ghanaians are crying, you are launching performance tracker. Are we tracking our stomachs on the tracker? When there is joblessness and you owe national service personnel and you haven't paid them, we should be tracking on the software. Do you have been asked? Your own tracker. You don't have, you haven't tracked your own tracker, but you're asking Ghanaians to track. And when journalists have tracked and are telling you the inconsistencies from your own tracker, you are, you are offended. I mean, what else do we do? We're talking to this, this case about. It clearly, people who are not ready to govern, clearly people who are not serious in governance, clearly people who are ready to lie, clearly people who are leading to, willing to mislead Mustafa. at will. Mustafa. They do so with deliberate. Mustafa, stay with me, please. Your yeah. government did not give us this opportunity to track, in, um, you know, infrastructure development activities going on. The NPP government have done that. And they're saying that is to ensure transparency and accountability. Regardless of the inconsistency, I mean, the inconsistency is not lost on us. But wouldn't you say this is a step in the right direction? So we can all see where it's going, with where our monies are going. What, what have we, our way of accountability is a testimony of the people. The people living in my village will testify whether this government has performed or not. The people in Ashanti region will testify whether this government has performed or not. The people in Central region will testify if this government has performed or not. It is not about going to take papers and 4G design, put them on a, a, a particular tracker and say that that is performance tracker so that when the economy has collapsed, the tracker is telling us that the economy is alive. When there is heightened corruption, the tracker will tell you that there is no corruption. When there is joblessness, we should say that there is jobs on the tracker. What is the implication of all this tracking if it doesn't affect the life of the people? All right. We have done projects. Mm. You can see KJPR market. Can't you see? Can't you see Terminal, Terminal 3 Airport? Can't you see Kumasi Airport? Can't you see Tam Tamale Airport? When you go to a country, the schools we have built, can they see? The hospitals is actually John Javan in Muhammad Bill. They can see and they testify. The only boast of the NPP government in Ashanti region was uh, the establishment of children's work in uh, Componente City Hospital by the First Lady and building of a court complex. Is it, it does court complex provide jobs? Okay, is that so what I have to. From this government? Mustafa, I hear you. I have to bring in Haruna back. Haruna, I understand what you were saying about exposing the positive and the negative side, and Mustafa has also responded. But specifically, what do you hope to achieve by launching this? You heard him say that there are more critical issues in the country, uh, like unemployment and the rest. What do you hope to achieve by launching this performance tracker? Yes, uh, before I respond directly to you, let me, let me say this very categorically. It's a lie that the NDC has built um, an airport in Kumasi. The NDC has not. You have to point to him that it is the MPP that has built an airport in Kumasi and that airport is being considered now for it to be open as an international airport to the good people of Ghana. And this is a fact. Mm. Let me also indicate that in Tamale, we will the check NDC though, but has not you built mm. airport. Let me see it again. The NDC has not built airport in Tamale. The NDC did a runway in the space airport project. We give them that credit, even though there was cost overrun. But the NDC has not built any airport in Tamale. It is the MPP under Nana Adodanko and Kukwadu that has built the airport, built the hard village, built the, all the road infrastructure within the, 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 the airport and put up that big edifice that is defeating of an international airport in Ghana. Okay. Um, I believe that this particular delivery tracker uh, will definitely bring out this particular communication. And this is going on to uh, strengthen the fact that the MPP has always believed in transparency. Uh, we accept the criticisms that will come in that are very positive for us to look at it and be able to work on them. Whilst we are looking at this particular matter, it is also evident that if we say we have delivered on ambulances, 
it is very, vi very verifiable that people will be able to see this. Uh, if you tell you that we have been able to deliver on this particular drone system, it is very verifiable for you to see that. If you say in education system we have been able to do uh, these uh, 10 STEM schools, five have been completed, five are ongoing, these matters can also be verified. We welcome all the matters that the media will be able to look at and tell us in our face. We are not angels. We have not brought heaven. But we accept positive criticism that will help to change the, the, the mindset of the people of Ghana. But how and we will never on any day attack the media on any matter that we are going to bring up. We will only point out that this is the truth. Let's all go in this particular direction. If it is that we have to accept mm. that this it's not done well. The MPP party and government is not afraid to do that. Media will continue to be our friends and we welcome all the criticisms that we are going to bring. Notwithstanding that fact, mm. the delivery tractor is one of its kind. That the MPP government has brought transparency, accountability to the doorstep of the people of Ghana. And we are going to do more as we continue to seek the mandate of the people. It's a social contract and we have to improve on that particular social contract. Is launch something like this, a delivery tracker. That's my final question to you. Haruna, Hello? Haruna Mohamed, is this the yes, first please. time that the NPP has launched something like this? Um, no, the NPP as a party, mm. um, we did what we call a delivery tracker on our manifesto. Mm -hmm. You know, we first launched a tracker that was going to assess or that assessed our manifesto in terms of promise per promise. You remember, Dr. Alaji Mahmoud Baumia, the incoming president of the Republic of Ghana, did champion this particular process. And the media had the, the, the opportunity to critique all that we did in that particular delivery tracker in terms of uh, clarifying on the deliverables on our manifesto. This was not on the deliverables of the entire government machinery, but specifically on the manifesto of the MPP. This one encompasses all the deliverables that we have done. That only seeks to represent the government mass piece in terms of what the government has done in its entirety. Remember, in the first tracker we did, we could not go and be mentioning a uh, six-unit classroom block and here and there. But these were specific matters that we were mentioning in terms of the promises that we gave to the people of Ghana. We assess ourselves, the media also assess us. Eventually, the Ghanaian people voted for us and gave us the mandate to rule again in the 2020 elections. And this time around, government in its own has come out with an, a, a big program that seeks to let the good people of Ghana understand that these are the deliverables that we have done. These are the percentages of completions of those particular areas. And we seek to do more for the good people of Ghana. So it's not the first time. But this is the biggest of all that we bring transparency to, closer to the people of Ghana. All right. Thank you so much, Haruna Mohammed. Uh, Mustafa Gwande, if you are still with me, I'll take your final thoughts and then I can go to Nana Wachi Adam. Yeah, thank you very much. I, I, I think conclusively, the MPP believes that the current nature and form of their performance tracker will retain them in government. But we are reminding them that the hardship Corruption, insincerity and dishonesty, the lack of seriousness and commitment on the part of this government towards the circumstances and the plight of the people of Ghana will reflect going forward into the election. Again, what will affect this government is the fact that they are claiming to things they have not done, contrary to the reality. If a powerful media outfit like multimedia have done checks, cross checks of your own tracking device and found out that they are inconsistent. You say you are not attacking media, but you are telling them that they are lying on the face of evidence. All these things will play out. Ghanaians will remind this government of the fact that they have collapsed the economy. Ghanaians will remind this government of the fact that when they came in government, 18 of milk was 8, you know, 80 percent, and today it is 80 days. Ghanaians will remind them. Ghanaians will remind Mohammed and his government that when his vice president public said they have built them, they have refused to add those dams in their own performance records because they know that it is a lie. We will leave it here. The rest is a job on the ground. When we go to the ground, we will ask the people of Ghana whether they have seen the project. 
whether or not their performance tracker has put food on the table of Ghanaians, whether or not their performance right. tracker so has Right, so phase one was under NDC, phase two... That is more important and that is what the NDC will tell them. Much, Mustafa, Mustafa Gbande. We were just checking on this airport issue and it turns out phase one was uh, under Mahama's government and phase two under Ekufado government. But let me go to Nana Bwache Adon before I let him go. Nana Bwache, what next are you going for your checks on these um, one district, one factory and what's been listed on the performance tracker? Well, Sweetie, you know that when it comes to the one, D, one district, one factory, um, a number of them, there's one which, which was supposed to be completed at Insuta, we have to do our, our independent checks on that. When I did my check on the performance tracker, um, it was indicated that it's completed. Um, we have to do our independent checks on that factory at Insuta. We would also turn our attention to um, the Agenda 111, 18 um, projects under the Agenda 111 when you come to the Ashanti region. We have visited um, four of them, but we have to continue our checks at various sites to, to, to see the level of completion or the pace at which they are, they, are, they are using to complete these projects. We have been monitoring the Swami Interchange project. I went through the tracker. I did not see anything related to the Swami Interchange project on the tracker, um, but would have to do our independent checks as well on that and then find out why we do not have anything on the Swami Interchange on the performance tracker because it was something that was really championed by the MPP and when it comes to their project or their initiative that they t intended to, to um, complete or to do in the Ashanti region. But come to think of it, after the launching of the performance tracker, we do not have anything on the Swami Interchange um, on the tracker, which is something that people are really questioning. And so we have to do our checks, both from government and then from the site as well, while we do our independent checks on the Agenda 111 and other One District, One Factory and um, projects. Well, thank you so much, Tanabwachi Adam from the Shanti region, doing, helping us check, fact check these Agenda 111 and other things that have been listed on this um, performance tracker. Thank you, Tanabwachi Adam. Okay. But Kojunia is back online. I want to bring him in so that he can also shed light on what his checks have revealed so far in terms of one district, one factory, as listed on the performance tracker. Kojunia are you with me now? Yes, see, I'm here. Great. So what did you find from your checks on, that, on the back of that documentary in 2023, not 2021, as I earlier said? Hmm. Okay, so the documentary was put together and it flagged uh, government 1v1 project. And so we visited about 28 of such factories uh, across the country. So we went to the western region, central region, uh, part of the um, eastern region and the Ashanti region. So some of the places that we visited, Casa Grupa and the company that manufactures uh, pastries and other things from the fresh wheat of potato. We also visited Petersford and Rail Group. Uh, all of these are based in the central region. Central oil mills located at Jopa in Kum. In fact, when yesterday uh, the, the tracker was launched, I checked. And then the three of them that I have mentioned, they were all 100% complete. Uh, you know of the Kufi Fruit and Juices Factory. Uh, mm -hmm. On the tracker, it's 100% complete. Uh, complete. One to one, a paper company limited, Leslie company limited, at Nyamina Dome in Gomua West District, 100% complete on the tracker. We have the Atep Cylinder Manufacturing Company Limited. You remember this factory that was facing some foreign competition with some Chinese company. And so when we did that documentary, uh, the Ministry of Trade had to step in. And now, uh, so the last check that I did with them, they have been put under the cylinder recirculation model and it's, it's functioning. But these factories that I have mentioned, even though they are 100% on the tracker, they have issues. For example, the Peter Sword and Ray Group, uh, a factory that is supposed to uh, produce uh, fruit, uh, fruit juice from um, oranges, mm. pineapple and the others, they have issues. They have not operated. In fact, they have issues with the financing of uh, that particular company. And um, about two weeks ago, Exim Bank uh, Limited wanted to take over the, the, the factory because uh, they said that the company is unable to pay them. In fact, the company says that we have not produced. We needed money to commercialize the project, and you have not given us any money to do that, and so we are unable to pay. As I speak with you now, my check with Casa Group indicates 
that uh, they are in court with their financiers because of the same issue. Um, um, after the inauguration of the party by the president, Casa Dropa has not really produced anything or did not start a commercial production, but their financiers are on their neck. They want the money because they know that the agreement, that the agreement, they gave them some duration for them to pay the money. But they said that they have not produced and so they were unable to uh, give them any amount of money. They requested money from Exim Bank and Exim Bank has not given them any money. So in all of these, you may see on the tracker that they are 100% complete, but a lot of them are not functioning. They are not producing anything. Even though they are factory, you can see the buildings that are there, the buildings that are there, but these factories are not wet. And so these are the checks that I run on some of the factories that we see set on the one district, one factory um, documentary that we did. And we are still following up on more of those things. You know, in the Asante region, uh, Nana Boatia has already indicated some of the factories that we, we see set in the documentary. Mm. Even though you see that these buildings are there, but I mean, that some of them are even rotting away the, the, the roof, um, uh, giving away and all of that. And so that is by way of the fact as far as the one district, one factory is concerned. Right. Thank you so much, Richard Kujunya, who is assisting editor here to join us. And trust join us to punch loopholes where necessary in campaign activities, especially the leading up to elections 2024. We spoke to the two deputy general secretaries of the two major political parties. We spoke to Nana Bwachi Adam from Kumase, all on probing what this performance tracker is purporting and what the real situation is on ground. Up next, we have our citizens' microphone. Today, we find out how some businesses are coping with this erratic power supply situation. Take a look. 